Well, howdy YouTube. Today we're at Waxahachie Creek Park on Bardwell Lake. Howdy YouTube, welcome to Dude RV. Today we're wandering around just south of the Dallas Metroplex. We have arrived at Waxahachie Creek Park on Bardwell Lake. I got the scooter, I got the GoPro, and I got you. So I'm gonna get back on the road here and I'll cut back in with the camera because They're ruining my shot. <laughs> All right. We can cue the music. Walks at Hatchie Creek Park here on Bardwell Lake. A big, big bump there. They got a big speed bump, so don't go fast coming in the gate. So at one point, this was a truly wonderful park in its heyday. But as you're going to see, a lot of it is just falling into disrepair. The, the uh, friendly lady at the front gate said they just had, they can't keep up with the flooding damage and tornado damage. I guess they just don't have the budget. I don't I don't know. But it is such a beautiful place. Bardwell Lake is just south of Ennis. There are three campgrounds on Bardwell Lake. This one by far is the prettiest. Now, if you go into the COE playlist, you can find Mott Park. I paid a visit to Mott Park about a year ago, a little over a year ago, 2019. So we're going to go up the hill first and get the switch backing out of the way. Because I know some of y'all don't care for the, the switch back segments. It doesn't take me long. And then from here it's all almost all downhill. This is the equestrian loop. And I, I, I've been to a lot of a lot of campgrounds, a lot of COEs and a lot of Texas State Parks. Uh, and most of them have equestrian loops. I'm pretty certain this is the only one I've been to that actually has power and water for the equestrian sites. Now right there in front of us at the bottom of the hill is secondary boat ramp. But it says that it's inaccessible at the current lake level. I don't know if that means the lake is too high or too low. I do know if you're bringing your horses out here to camp, you're going to have the nicest shower facility in Waxahachie Creek Park because it's brand new. And since the boat ramp is closed, I, I, I can't give you a look at that. 
are going to do a, a, a little bit of off-roading. It's just a, it's a shame that so much of this park is closed off. I see, you can't go that way because there's that great big tree. But, we're going to go over there and take a look at that. It'll be a little bumpy for me, but that'll be all right. So she said tornadoes, and I'm thinking all these trees got blown down in a tornado at some point. Uh, and they just don't have the, the resources to clear it out, clear all the fallen trees out. And it floods. So pretty down here in all these pecan trees, oak trees. They have a large group pavilion right up on top of the hill. Hello, here we go again. That's the last of the off-roading action. <laughs> I say that. Wait till you see the roads. Day use or tent camping, I guess. Primitive sites. Lots of walkable shoreline. Now these here on the left are power and water sites. Um, it'd be tough to get level. We have a nice shower house over here. Check out that cool little mini A. Winnebago Via. So there's the just the main road here runs all the way back to the other boat ramp. We're gonna look at the part of the park that is open. More water and electric sites, but I, I think these are all closed off as well. And this road just gets rougher and rougher. These are water sites. And well, there's some electric too. Another shower facility. I mean, they got plenty of uh, places to go to the bathroom and get clean here. Way more than uh, they have available campsites. So this loop is just, this, this has been closed for a long time as well.
This is going to get really bumpy. We'll go fast and that'll help smooth it out. So we're going to come back to this one. Run all the way down to the end. Just a real big part, but it sure could be a pretty part. There is one point I, I saw up here that kind of concerns me and that is you can see where somebody's been coming into the park without going through the gate right here that, that kind of makes me nervous make sure you lock your RV Although, you know, they could just be coming down here to the boat ramp to fish. Here we are at the only open boat ramp. And the courtesy dock is inaccessible. For all you boat ramp fans, there's your boat ramp. It's a four lane one. All right, let's go back and catch that last loop. I'm glad this thing has got front shocks. <laughs> the road has beat me. All right. Big puffy white cloud. Such a beautiful day. Most of these are all, I think they're all pull-throughs. And there's still some that are available on Saturday. July 31. Of course, they may actually be reserved and the reservees have not arrived yet. And here we are at the end of the road. Close that out right here. All right, hey, I appreciate y'all riding along with me. I hope y'all enjoyed this little tour of, of what could be just a fantastic place to spend the day. But sadly, there's not resources available to make it happen. Waxahachie Creek Park, Bardwell Lake. Hey, if y'all enjoyed our little tour of this beautiful, decrepit park, uh, give me a thumbs up. 
if this is your first visit to Dude RV, hey, I'd appreciate it if you click on that subscribe button and, and get hit the bell as well. Remember to hit that bell. I post new videos every week. I'm traveling around. I haven't been back to the same campground twice in going on six years now. For those of you who have been following, thank you. I, I'm truly honored. Y'all come back now, you hear?